What's up, everybody? This is your girl Erica from the Classy Climb blog. Coming to y'all tonight talking about credit card fraud scams. <laughs> now, many of you know I, I'm not one to be out here like, this is a scam, that's a scam, that's a scam. I hate that mentality. Um, it's a scarcity mentality. But there is a reason why I started doing the class uh, for the students so that they would be prepared, right? And if you haven't got a chance to grab the spring friend, the spring cleaning credit, getting your credit right for the spring. The majority of why I did that class is so that folks will, one, have at least one credit card. Now, here's hear me out. The old school method, um, a method that a lot of people that used to get a lot of points did with credit cards is they would uh, have one credit card. They paid all their rent, their bills, their mortgages, their payments, everything. And then they would pay that credit card off with their what their check that they got from work right people weren't running around holding all these balances on these cards like you see now right for whatever reason people think that's the way to go it's not right the credit card is just that to be used for points give you some room give you some breathing room give you some wiggle room emergencies occur many people are out here using debit cards why is it dangerous to use debit cards? Debit cards offer you no protection. Now, a lot of people say, well, Erica, I can't qualify. My credit bad, something happened, yada, yada, yada. Dave Ramsey told me no credit card. Listen, if you got problems, if you a gambler, let's keep it real buck. If you got gambling problems, you don't know how to control yourself, you get a little crazy with the lottery tickets, credit card may not be for you. But the future we're heading to, I only use one Navy Federal credit card. reason I use it is because of we've got uncontrolled levels of scamming on the internet. Y'all out here using your debit card that your paycheck goes into your bank account to buy stuff on Amazon, buy shipping online. That is dangerous. Now that I'm studying tech classes, Network Plus, Security Plus, I'm out here doing A Plus, I'm telling y'all, everything I'm reading, we ain't got enough people to fight all the hacking and all the scamming and all the skimming of card data information that's out there. We don't have enough people. We will never have enough people. We can't get enough Americans even interested to study tech to get that. Okay. So I'm going to show you some stories. I'm going to show you why you got to protect your information. And I'm not going to be here too long because I have another show with Tim. We're talking about some stuff that went off in Dallas with the ring cameras at 830. So let me hear you up. But I want you to understand the reason I had that class is I really want you guys. There you go. Thank you, John. Because my credit card protects me from a million dollars uh, in identity theft. It protects me from $10,000 to $20,000 in damage anytime I rent a car. It protects me in damage anytime I use it. If somebody steals my information or, or buys something fraudulently online, the credit card, if you use your credit card, they're going to put that money right back on there. Why? Because that's the bank's money. Why is American Express known for suing people? American Express is one of the, is, is one of the most widely used cards and widely uh, skimmed cards. And they be on it. They be taking people to court and to jail. They don't play. There's a reason people are like, man, don't mess up that American Express. I know too many people who bought whole businesses with an American Express and try to let it default. American Express is like, no, baby. We know where you at. We know you got a business. We're going to get our money. Okay. And so y'all out here, I want you to think in your day, all the places you're swiping your debit card. And I'm just going to go think about the gas station. When I was in Detroit, I would not want to put my, my card in any of those gas stations. They just look sketchy. And it's very convenient for the business owner to go, I didn't know that was on there. I didn't know there were skimmers on the gas pump, even though that's their business. And they're supposed to go out there every morning and check those things. They like, well, it's not our problem. It's not our fault. You know, these skimmers just come in the middle of the night and put it on there. Well, if every morning you're checking every every gas pump like you're supposed to as a business owner, how are you not finding these things? Some of these people are in on these things. I'm not saying all immigrants are bad or all immigrants are stealing, but you guys are getting this painted picture that these hardworking immigrants come here to America and, and they just work so hard. There's no there's no bad apples. Trust me, in any country, there's bad apples, right? They just captured, a, I think it was 57 people for a Nigerian love scams in Dallas, okay? 
So when I'm sitting here telling y'all this stuff, I'm not, I'm not, oh, Erica trying to sell classes. The freaking credit class $27. I'm going to make it 87 next week after that and be done with it because we have multiple trainees in it. But I want you to understand, like, I'm telling you what I'm doing. A lot of people out here on YouTube, you know, I'm a this, I'm a that. No, baby. I'm Erica Williams. I work two jobs really hard, bust my ass and realize you're going to pay more taxes and you're going to work till you die. If you don't start investing, if you sit at this office and you see this boy got this painting company, you can do that too. Let's get on out of here. Start the painting company with my friend and the rest is history, as you may see on this channel for the past seven years. And what I've learned, right? What I've learned is, okay, as I'm learning, I'm sharing. As I'm learning, I'm sharing because guess what? You know, a lot of y'all are not going to go past H&R Block. I used to work at H&R Block for three years in a row. A lot of y'all not going to do nothing past H&R Block. A lot of y'all not going to really study this stuff. And I really want you to understand, like, the onslaught of people who instead of going to work and getting a trade because they're starting to get older, instead they're going to go to skimming and they're going to move around the country. I'm not blaming New Yorkers. Let me be very clear. Atlanta saying, oh, my God, we got to rise of scamming. Where are all these people coming from? Some of them are Atlanta folks doing it. I will give you 100% on that. But you got people coming out of New York. You got people moving from outside the country. Okay, so let me share you some articles. And 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 before we really start this, what's up, everybody? It's your girl, Classic Climb blog. Arthur, the smartphone millionaire book, how to invest in people, businesses, and real estate from the pump of your hand. Okay, you can grab that on Amazon. Uh, I thank you all. I got a really nice check from Amazon this month for like a big old $642. So somebody was buying books. Thank you. Uh, let's go on over. And also I put links in the chat so you guys may have purchased some of the links I put out there. So let me go ahead and share my screen and get this going where I want to show y'all. Um, because, you know, don't take my word on it. Let me show you. <laughs> First one we're going to start with is trucking. Now, you're going to say, Erica, why you always on these truckers, man? You always hitting these truckers? Because I was onslaughted with this community that I was underwhelmed, undereducated, and, and, and like, okay, I'm going to learn. I'm going to educate myself. I can get through this. And was like, ooh, girl, some of these men folk is slicker than oil, okay? Now, let me show you what happened to our good friend. He's going to come on this channel, but not tonight. We had, you know, because it's last minute. But I want to show you what happened to him. Let me see if I can hold it and pause it. I might be able to. Okay, so story time. Yeah, I paused it. Story time. I put my glasses on because you know I can't see, y'all. Y'all know I can't see. And this is what blew my mind today. I shared it. Two years ago, he hired a driver from Pennsylvania. If you know anything about Pennsylvania, they got some folks. Some, they got some sticks, okay? Worse than Mississippi, okay? I hired a driver from Pennsylvania two years ago. He told me he doesn't fly. Flag right there. So the choices I had was to get him to NC, was getting a rental or a U-Haul. With the COVID going on, only choice I had was to get him the U-Haul. He gets to NC, jumps in the truck, does a one load to Pennsylvania to get the rest of his stuff to move to North Carolina. Once he gets to North Carolina, to his house, he calls me and tells me he does not drive for black people. He was a Trump supporter. <laughs> I'm just telling you the story. So I had to pay someone to drive two hours to go get my truck. I can't drive semi truck. Same story here. I can't drive. Next, so you can see this. The dude, now this is two years ago. Now this dude now goes to U-Haul, tries to go get a U-Haul in his business name. Now he done told him, I don't work for black people. I don't deal with black people. And I don't know if y'all understand this, but the trucking industry has a lot of immigrants and black people in it. So now this man just tried to scam and use his business name to rent a U-Haul. And got it. Now, I'm going to go there. I know y'all not going to like this. If he was a black guy coming in here saying this is my business and I'm booking this U-Haul, somebody would have asked for paperwork. Somebody would have asked for paperwork in Selma, North Carolina, because I am from North Carolina. I know what Selma's about. I ain't, I ain't from there, but I know what they're about. If a black guy came in from Selma, North Carolina talking about he going to pick up this U-Haul, Without a lot of identification, it won't gonna happen. It won't gonna happen. Let me put it to you that way. So now he on the phone with U-Haul. Hey man, y'all rented my U-Haul with my business name. 
to a guy who used to work for me two years ago. Now, listen, y'all acting like, Erica, what does this got to do with debit cards and credit cards? When you hand these drivers these cards, you have to make sure you get all your gas cards from them, all your documentation from them, okay? Next, this is him. Like, he ain't showing his information, but this is the dude. This is the dude. This guy was bold enough to say, I don't work for no black people. But going to use your truck to move from Pennsylvania to North Carolina because what? He in a bad way. Two years later, he moving some more. Where he moving to? He was, he was dropped back off North Carolina. But I want you all to understand this is how these whack, raggedy people out here be tripping. They going to steal this man information and no one. No one, no one said, hmm, let me see some information. Let me see some data. If, I, if I'm off, you guys let me know. Let me know if I'm off, y'all, because I, I'm pretty sure if I walk into if I walk into U-Haul, I need to show somebody some identification, and that this is my business and with a business debit card or business credit card. <laughs> no, that said I would have shot somebody. Oh shit! Oh baby, I listen. He better than me because I went. I went. I went to Selma and found him. Okay, let me put you this way. Okay, so this is what happened to this man. Did I read the story too fast? Do I need to go back through it? Did we all see it? Put a one in the comments if we all saw it. This man is playing with this man. He going to use his truck to move to a whole nother state because you know he couldn't afford to do it. Right? Right? From Pennsylvania and drove down and moved his stuff down here like this okay so again now at this point he got to work with the police he got to work with paperwork he got to do all this but yeah this is this so let me go ahead and exit this one and go you to the next one card skimmers why are card skimmers in florida under agriculture why are y'all dependent on florida department of agriculture or customer services to inspect gas pumps at nine thousand gas pumps stations, truck shops, and marinas in a year. And they have removed over 3,400 skimmers since 2015. Let's, 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 let's be honest with ourselves. It is the job of the gas station employees and staff and owners to check those things every day. And there's countless stories on TikTok where Black people are going to corner stores in the hood and they're skimmers. And we're already talking about an underbanked population. So what do you think they're using? They're using debit cards. They're about to get a lot of y'all jammed up out here. Okay? This is what's about to happen. So I did the class because I really wanted you to understand the future of things. WS, that's fine. If you want to keep using debit card, keep using it. No problem. I'm just telling you the level of these people putting skimmers out here. The level of these people online hacking your Amazon, your uh, when you go to the grocery store, all these places, they've got card readers in their pockets now. You dig what I'm saying? I'm, I'm really want y'all to understand, like, it's not a game. OK. I put 10 percent of my paycheck directly direct deposit on a prepaid card and the rest of my savings account and no credit card attached. I pay my bills a prepaid card. That's a that's a that's a that's a good idea. Valdez Brown, Navy Federal is offering pay, prepaid cards. You do that too. I don't. I've literally phased it out. I've had, when I first moved to Texas, my identity was stolen. And they said, oh, Erica, are you in Dallas getting an apartment, getting a phone, getting this? I said, no, I am not, ma'am, at all. Like, I had to put all kind of identity threats on my report. I couldn't move into my first apartment in Austin because it looked like I was getting an apartment in Dallas. And also getting phones and other stuff in Dallas. And I'm like, I just moved to Texas, honey. How did I, I had just moved here? And what did I have when I moved here? I moved here with debit cards and I used my get, get gas, go get groceries. So when people say, well, well, where did you go? Erica? Were you at the nightclub with the card? No, I was literally getting gas and getting groceries and had my identity stolen. And when I come here, I learned Texas, I'm not making fun of Atlanta, but Texas is way high numbers, almost more than Atlanta for identity theft. Why? We have a huge illegal immigrant population. People be sliding people identifications. Okay? 
Exactly. This whole like, oh, I don't know how the skimmer got in there and it's inside the store. I've seen too many TikToks of uh, Middle Eastern people acting like, I don't know how that got in here. Okay, you don't check your store and wipe down your whole store. Yeah, that don't sound right to me. Okay. So this is who you have. You have Florida Department of Agriculture. Basically, you have a bunch of uh, postal workers supposed to be going around checking these gas stations. How many gas stations do y'all think they can check? Being really honest. Listen, I want all my points. I want all my points and then some. Oh, no, that's fine, John. I put it in the chat. I don't, I mean, I don't beat people over the head with it. But whenever I share a book, I um, I, I usually use those links. No one scams in Atlanta. We all Christians. I apologize to Atlanta. I apologize. Yeah, Airbnb. You know, people are now making it where they, if you're local to the town, they won't let you rent the Airbnb. What's the plan book-wise, if any? The plan is for you to get a credit card. Make sure you're putting yourself in a, in a position where you can have a credit card. That's really what it is. Or get a, a secured card. I mean, there's, you know, there's books I can recommend, but I don't have any here at the top of my head. Let me go to the next article because I want you to understand how, how widespread this is. And if you want to uh, find out where you get this information, this is FDACS.gov. You can look at every city and every state who are who's responsible for finding fraud. So you got you got them underneath, you know, th their job is everything. Conceal weapons, license fraud, emergency scams, game promotion, sweet states. So gambling, government imposters, deceptive advertisements, military service members and their families. So they're protecting everybody. How can they pro actively protect the whole state of Florida? They don't have enough staff, y'all. You're going to have to seriously protect yourself. Payday loans, punishing online, all this. They're, that's a big umbrella. And even they, this is what they tell you. Take a close look at the pump. Touch the pump. Now, many of y'all, when you get out of the car, y'all don't want to touch the pump because you think it's dirty. Pay with a credit card. You're protected by the card's issuer's zero liability policy. Okay? Pay inside instead of at the pump. Okay, there are skimmers inside too. Choose glass station closest to the building. Don't mean they're going to see it. Check your statements and sign up for fraud alerts. Again, the biggest thing I'm going to tell y'all from my class is identity, IQ, and credit check total, and uh, two other ones, they provide you protection. They provide you up to a million dollars. That's why when people are here fighting me about, well, I'm not spending $20 a month for them to give me my credit report. Now, yes, since the pandemic, you can get a free credit report from uh, annual credit report. I'm saying it wrong. Annualfreecreditreport.com. You can get one every single month because of the pandemic. They want to make sure people aren't being taken advantage of because of the PP loans and all this other stuff, right? So you can get one free every month. The reason I use Identity IQ, and I'm not even putting my affiliate in the comments for y'all, which I will put it in the description later, because literally it's a million dollars in protection. There's a lot of home title fraud going on where people have equity in their home. Matthew Locke, Matthew uh, Locke, uh, Cox is super popular on a podcast but what is he popular for doing over i think he said like uh i think it's like 54 million dollars in home mortgage cat refi you know refinance fraud that's what he's doing and look at this this is the skimmer i'm talking to y'all about look at this thing are you gonna tell me this this guy did not see this 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 eastern indian family did not see this skimmer right here hold on can y'all see the screen? Put a one in the comments if y'all can see the screen. If you can't see it, let me know. I can make it bigger. Hold on. Can y'all see it? It's a 7-Eleven. 7-Eleven is a very trusted brand. They work heavy with immigrant families. They want to make sure that they can get the American dream and that they can get access to these. But I want you to see. Oops, sorry. She in there putting this on Twitter. You know, what you putting this on Twitter for? Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Come on now, y'all. That's a whole cover. You telling me he didn't know that was there? He ain't see that? Now, she just giggling and laughing. She ain't, you know, she she not taking it serious. But think about that. Natisha Radler, girl, who is got her spelling her name like that? But it's all good. Her mama made it special. Do y'all understand what's happening? 
he's sitting there acting confused like he don't know it's his gas station he literally is legally supposed to be wiping down them daggone but buttons every day anyway 7-eleven policy and he acting like he didn't know that was right there in his face two feet from him so who put it there if he didn't put it there who put it there who came in the store right there in front of his face and put that skimmer on top of there that very big bulky skimmer if he if he didn't do it who did it you, you know what i'm saying that don't make sense to me explain that to me so when you sit here and tell people oh you know erica you know you guys are being dramatic i'm telling you this is this is happening nationwide Look at that thing. That is a whole front face cover. He didn't see that. He didn't see that at all. And the reason, if you listen to the article, the reason I'm not playing is I, she, long story short, is she got, um, she had an issue with her card and she only goes to two or three places. All right. So now they're saying they're forensically examining it. The police are. Come on, man. Who, who, who else will be responsible? That close to the cashier. Somebody came in there when they were closed and put it on there. Come on now. That don't even make good sense. I was born at night, but not last night. Let's try again. Let's do another one. Skimming crew gets prison for $5 million far. Has to give up Porsche. Okay. So what was they doing? Let me see here. Six people in Florida use gas station stimmers to steal millions of dollars from unsuspecting victims in eight states. Now they're going to prison. The ringleader, let me show you this name, 33-year-old Yasmin Grata. Ugh, this is, hold on. Hold on, y'all. Let's, let's pull it up. Google search that name. Member of a Cuban credit card gang. Let's, let's just go there. Cubans run Florida. Didn't Diamond Dave tell you Cubans run Florida? They running it. They own the stores. This is the attorney general because they were in Virginia. So see, these people done ran up and down the East Coast. Let's go on back to the main article. Sorry. 33 years old. They up to up to 10 years in prison. Pleading gift to commit bank fraud and aggregated identity theft. Right. Virginia. They were spotted him at several Harris Teeter stores in Virginia. They spotted him in North Carolina, Charlotte, where he was trying to use clone credit cards. All right, so they skimmed the information, made a fake card. They in Virginia, they riding up and down the coast, living their best life in a Porsche. Okay, stolen funds used to pay for a boat, luxury cars. They're an organized gang. This is gang activity. But but if you look on TV, they showing little boys who were stealing packages off porches and be like, man, them black people bad. Nah, listen, look at this. This is five million dollars. This ain't no package off no porch. They see several cars, a boat, a trailer that were poorly purchased with stolen funds. They even took a 2017 Maserati and a 2013 Porsche. You know, he disputed any of these. This is not him. They're saying it. They're saying, oh, no, it was just $45,000. Sir, $45,000 doesn't get you a Maserati and a Porsche, even as an old Maserati and old Porsche and a boat and a trailer and several cars, not $45,000. We, we all know. Now, guess what happened? When they grabbed him, the, the three, the other six ran off, and guess where they at? They living in Mexico. They living in Mexico. Come on now. How'd they get to Mexico? Well, what money? So, so far, they only ordered him to pay $45,000 in restitution. Come on, man. That's, that's insane. Oh, you know, you know, it's, it didn't hurt anybody. It did. It did hurt people. Let me go to another one. You know, y'all maybe think Erica's being dramatic. Again, L.A. restaurants struggle with a new form of dining dash. What's L.A. known for? Being expensive. Being expensive. Now it's being known for some scamming. Go down, down. Right? There's some Korean restaurants. It has been slow since the pandemic, and now they start having people gone. You know, and guess what happened? Seven hundred twenty-eight dollars. Right? Somebody ordered it off an app. It got delivered. It was a large order. He wasn't alarmed, but guess what happened? 
Boom. Fraud. Well, this is the business owner. This is the business owner. Okay. He asked him, was it a party for such a big order? The guy's like, oh, thank you so much. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. She sent photo evidence of the customer's order and pick up food to Visa. Then she waited two months. They let her know she lost her appeal and she was responsible for $728. Think about that. Now, it's basically saying in here that this is happening all over the place. Um, it's increased 35% since April 2020. What happened since April 2020? What happened? See, these people, these people, everybody's like, oh, they're smashing and grabbing, they're breaking in cars. There's there's no new hustles. These people are running out of running out of hustles because people were home. Right. So they still in porches. Out of, they try to steal packages off the porch, but you home. So they can't get them. So what are they doing? They're skimming these cards. This is why I'm telling you. You should have one card that you use when you out in public. This now, because of this, she no longer takes payment via credit card over the phone. Again, all of it. Just just watch it. Last year, our credit card sales dropped by 80 percent because they were replaced by third party companies. We pay a commission, but at least we don't have the risk of lost orders. So now they're having to use DoorDash. They're having to use these companies, these online companies that take a big chunk out of them so that they'll be protected from what? Credit card fraud. But guess what's happening to DoorDash? Guess what's happening to all these delivery food places? They're getting hit with it. Right? So again, this person got hit by $1,300 worth of meat. They buying meat from the store. <laughs> That's a lot of meat. That's a lot. I'm just trying to say it's, it's unfortunate because these business owners are on the hook. And this is LA. Let's go to another one. This isn't for me to doom and gloom, y'all, but I want y'all to understand what's, what's really, really happening out here. And you're going to see more of it. Losing 300 at a buffet sounds like the worst all you can eat. This is in LA again. They chopped down. Chinese buffet restaurant reported seeing hundreds of dollars of unauthorized charges on their accounts after using their credit cards. At a restaurant. Interesting. So they're seeing $300 to $1,000 being spent. Totally more than $20,000 of unauthorized transaction. People are looking for a male suspect accused of taking the information. How did they get the information? It's a Chinese restaurant. How'd they get it? Somebody putting a skimmer in the Chinese restaurant? No. Come on, man. Get out of here with this silly mess. That's staff. Okay, let me go ahead and get you another one. Let's, let's get you another one. Criminal Web uses, oh, quit, get out of here. Criminal Web uses Asian buffets to steal credit cards nationwide. Oh boy, oh boy, chilling. This is Bang Hulu of Manhattan. This is also of Manhattan. This is, he's 27. Lee, man, uh, let me go over here. Let me scan it, move it down. I mean, and this is not me beating up on immigrants, y'all. Let me be very clear. That's not what this channel is about. So this show is about, I'm just trying to educate y'all what's coming. Our economy is doing a hover move right now. It's just kind of doing this in a circle. It's not going up. It's not going down. It's not really crashing. All these people out here telling you, oh, it's going to crash. It's going to crash. It's going to crash, y'all. They lying to y'all. I'm telling you, the government is asking, can you build at least 4 million more houses, affordable housing? And these companies that are building these apartments, they're getting the money from the government to build apartments for affordable housing. Who do they plan on putting in that housing? Okay, just something to think on. I, I talk on this stuff because I want you to be prepared. But look, if these folks are business owners and you go into a restaurant where they have an actual business and they are taking your information and putting it through rings of gangs. Whoo, come on now. What you think is going to really happen out here? Now, they're going to play real dumb like, we don't know how it happened, but they done got them. They know. And it's probably just the fall guy. Come on now. Let me go ahead and get in y'all comments, see what y'all talking about over here. Something secure. Yes. And they're trying to sit here and play you like, well, you know, it's just, it's a victimless crime. No, it's not. Mm -mm. Touch all over that. 
Are credit unions any better? Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, yes. I'm still going to use a card, though. Look, he said this ain't nothing new. It really isn't, but it's going to be worse. Listen, they're going to hack your phone, too. Listen, I'm going to tell you right now. They told you if you go over to Hong Kong or China and you got an Android phone, good luck. If you got an Apple phone, good luck. They have phone readers that get all your information, hack your phone. There's technology that's more advanced than little backwood parts of Virginia, y'all. There you go. They're gonna work, they're gonna work the phones. They just showed they had all this Chinese Americans getting scammed, and it was Chinese American people on the phone. So they were hitting up the elderly in America that are Chinese. There you go. Thank you, LA Victors. Remove the ticker. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me see. Can y'all see now? Let me show it again. I apologize. I didn't realize it was covering the faces. Can y'all see? Can y'all see now? Put a one in the comments. These look like regular everyday Costco shoppers. They don't know how to how to ID the information got out. I don't know. How did it get out? That's crazy. Right? So, of course, they're saying they're going to get three to seven years of state prison. And he's under an active deportation at the time of his arrest for possession of a forged Michigan driver's license. So, old boy out here driving wow with the fake Michigan's driver's license. And then they were arrested at casinos for doing what? Using cards generated from the theft. So, old boy at the casino shopping, gambling, basically. Uh, Y'all don't understand. This is happening all over. You go into your local restaurant and the Asian mafia done got your car. Come on now. Oh boy, 27 with a fake driver's license and still an identity. This ain't new. This ain't new to him. This ain't new to him. And when he gets sent to China, he's going to come right back. <laughs> okay. Just I'm just going to tell you. I live in California for 13 years. I had my identity stolen twice. I moved to the sticks of Mississippi. And you don't hear about anyone's identity getting slow. It, it is what it is. There you go. Cash app. Mm hmm 7-Eleven. Discover card. I card that I used for gas got swiped. I saw a charge for Amazon Go in Washington. I'm in South Carolina. Black Baron, quick, fast, in a hurry. Look, 7-Eleven. I mean, come on now. 7-Eleven got to do something about it. Now, 7-Eleven gives an uh, opportunity to just about anybody to open up a gas station. But you get my point. You totally get my point. Uh, let me go here. They are. They already gone. This is a big thing I'm talking about. People don't watch their accounts. People don't log in, look at their account information. I literally get up in the morning and watch most of the banks. I go look at almost all my accounts. Okay, where I got to go? What's going on? Let me check my QuickBooks. I'm telling you. It, it, and again, Grant Cardone was like, he gets up in the morning, he checks all his accounts. Now, I don't think he checks them all, but in general, that's, that's his thing he's been saying forever. Have a good night, John. I'm telling you, they're using them debit cards. You can't get your money back. Yep, they'll get a copy of your card and make a clone. Panera through DoorDash. That's wow. Yep, RFD wallet, man. Listen. Thank you, Fallout 49 Super Chat. The economy is straggling. It's. It, listen, here's what I'm, I'm trying to get you to understand. There are some people who are going to be just fine in this economy. When I talk about the K-shaped recovery, I'm talking about people who are making over 50K and up. They, they're going to be like, what y'all talking about down there? But that 30 to 50, they're going to be screaming. They're going to be screaming on rent, screaming on insurance, all this stuff. Yep, open up counts and dead people's names, children's names. Pretty much. I'm telling you, it's really bad out here. It's, and 
you know, I just want you to understand that like I, every day I'm studying and studying, and studying because I'm like, okay, well, dang, which way are we going in this economy? What's happening? How do we protect ourselves? How do we protect children in our family under 18? Right? Yep, this is true. There you go. Inflation, eight point high. Right? That's what I was going to put in this article. 8.5%. Gas price high. Income stagnant. What do you think these people are going to happen? They busting in houses, cars, windows, theft. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want you to listen. I'm not trying to get you. I don't want to be a doom and gloom channel or anxiety, but I feel like so many people are asleep. They are asleep at the wheel and like stuff is going on and you're sitting here trying to say, listen, get all the get all the credit cards you want and lines of credit you want now. And and protect yourself. Just watch over your stuff. Right. This this isn't for you guys to uh, be like, man, Erica, man, oh, my God. Like, I just want you to be smart about it again. The, right now, they got a trucker blockade going on. In U.S. and Mexico. Why? Guess what our, our, our governor did? He started busing illegal immigrants of all kinds. He's, there were some Haitians on that bus and sent them to D.C., Washington, D.C. So guess what? In Mexico, they decided to block block it up. Block all the trucks. You want to do that? We're going to block the trucks. Because they also, at the Texas border, decided they're going to start searching more trucks for drugs. So they're about to show you who really owns this country. Who really running things. 3,000 trucks stopped on the bridge. 3,000 trucks, y'all. 3,000 trucks. Mexico supplies about two-thirds of the produce sold in Texas. When I talk about HEB out here trying to call all these farmers, that's why they were doing it. Because if Texas Border Customs say, hey, we're going to check every truck. Now the truckers say, well, we strike and we're going to park in the trucks. Why? If drugs ain't in your truck, why you, why are you doing that? Who told you to park your truck? Think about that. I want you to understand what I'm saying here. Who told them to park their truck? The broker didn't. Broker didn't say park that truck. Who told them to park that truck? Think about it. They say you're in phone on dark web. Yeah. You dig what I'm saying? People aren't paying attention. Robin Hood got compromised multiple times. And people act like, oh, what are you talking about? Oh, yeah, there's people in them trucks. I hope they're getting some fresh air. Because, it, it, good gracious, they're about to be in a hurt. Thank you, cartel. Perishable foods on the trucks. So they hoping what's going to happen is, oh, you're just going to open the gates and let's go. Nah. There you go. In New York. People are using ATM at CVS stores to find out their cards are being skimmed and the money's being swiped. Wouldn't be shocking. Wouldn't be shocking to me. Listen, what what makes sense? It it'd be weird. Yep, people digging in your garbage cans. Yeah. There's 357 people here. Just I'm not asking you to buy nothing tonight. I'm just saying hit the like button. I'm I'm just trying to educate you before I get on here with Tim T, Tim uh Tim Jackson in a little bit. This this is why Home Depot Walmart stopped using Samsung Apple. Exactly. Exactly. So again, the economy's kind of hovering right now. I want you to protect yourself because when people can't think of a way to make money, this is what they do. Um, I got a letter, I got a video coming out, but I don't know if when Peter gonna be done with it. I don't see it right in front of me, but I got a letter from Amazon. Asking me, did I want to advertise my book on uh, Kindle, right? K KDP. And I don't know if you watched Diamond Day's video. I shared it in the community page. I'll share it again tonight. If you're not advertising, it's going to be wow. Because these, these social media platforms are really cramping down on your organic reach. So when I sit here and tell you about digital, how to have a digital real estate footprint, and that some people are spending $40 a day, $50 a day advertising their business. And guess what they're getting hit with? Chargebacks. Come on, man. Like this, this is, you got to pay attention. You now you have to advertise enough for your business to make money and also fight chargebacks. 
Because people doing what? Stealing these cards. You know, I know people say, Erica, why you be so negative on this channel? But again, is your job proofed? Is your cards secure? Is your investment secure? All right. So I hope this wasn't too discouraging. It's part of the reason because somebody sent me a lot like, why are you selling a credit? But I'm like, I'm just trying to give out information at a low price for you guys to get yourself ready. You know, because when they start this summer not giving y'all any credit, they're only going to be giving funding to people who are doing who are in business. I ran through all these hoops to get pre-approved for a mortgage. But when I wanted to just build new construction, they were like, OK, give us your driver's license. Give us a business plan. OK, we're ready. Here you go. Show us the land. It wasn't even any friction because not only is it the government backing these things, it's people looking for ways to put their money to work. So my goal is to ultimately um, get the land and do construction in Tampa and one here in Toledo and off those profits, you know, pay down debt, make smart decisions. But I'm hoping this information reaches y'all and y'all get what I'm trying to put out here. Okay. Did y'all have any questions for me before I get on up out of here? Oh, listen. Yeah. No one's talking about that either. Because people say, Erica, what's the plan? The plan, honestly, if, if it was me, I'd get as much credit as I can get before the summer. Because the summer when it gets thin and parents, kids are out of school, I I would go <laughs> buy two or three more guns. Uh, at least a thousand rounds of ammo. I'd have my garden in my yard and then I'd be working on my business. I'd have one card. I mean, in an ideal world, I'd run about 15,000. Let me close this out. I'd run about $15,000 a month to run my business with between staff, uh, between staff, advertising and all that. That would be an ideal world. And I would just leave that on rotation. So when I watch Sam Owens and some of these people at BidSummit and BidCon, like a lot of them are going on vacation. They, they leave them for months at a time. Uh, even Ryan Scribbler, he leaves for months at a time. A lot of these people pre-record a lot of this stuff and they run ads. Because that is the future of this digital space. Um, I don't know if y'all saw the shooting of the guy in New York. First thing they said is he's he's a part of the Manosphere. They didn't say Black Manosphere. They just said Manosphere. So I don't know if the people down the street are paying attention. I'll ask Super Slop if he's paying attention. They're going to tie some of these uh, outrageous people to people online. So is your business protected? Can you freely speak on your business? Can you freely promote your business? Because I've seen a change in the algorithm. There's a change in the algorithm on Instagram and Facebook. You can now run uh, your Instagram ads independent of Facebook. So you've had a lot of people advertising. Don't mean you're going to be able to vet everybody. Don't mean be able to... You literally could Google somebody's name for days on end unless they got a pending court case or trial. You don't know. And I'm not calling no names, but there are several people running ads every single day on Instagram that I see that we call them scammers. But guess what? They're selling books. They're going on by their day. They're doing what they do. So I want you to protect yourselves out there. If you, Wherever you want to be, go ahead and be where you're going to be at. Because DeKalb County in, in, uh, in Georgia had lower uh, population. So that means some people left Atlanta. Some folks packed it up and moved. I don't know where they moved, but they did. Numbers went down finally after a decade of increase. So be smart. Uh, life beyond the ring. I talk about that inside the course. I get it all. When you go, I talk about how, which banks to go to, where to go to, how to go to, which order. Because you know, I learned that stuff for $7,000, but I don't care to give it to my audience because the point of the classy climb is for each one teach one. Yes. But a lot of times I know y'all won't spend any money if it's over 50 bucks. You don't think education is valuable. You could go out here and watch 100 hours every week of YouTube and you still won't learn some of this stuff that we learn behind paywalls. It just is what it is. It's not a big deal. That's right. You sure can. There's another one. Purple Pros, the way it's going right now, depending on what you're doing, and I'll be careful. If you're trying to buy a house, you're trying to move, you're trying to get ready to start a business, you need to be looking at your credit report every month. Period. Once a year is not enough. I'm going to be really honest with you. Once a year is not enough. Uh, if you see all these elderly folks that are getting their home title 
being stolen. That's what I meant to show y'all was Matthew Cox. That was the last one. And then I'm going to close it on out for Tim. Um, and you can go watch him his story on American Greed. That scam he did is still going right now. But with a different, you know, different patch of peas. There you go. Then wrote a book and everything. He's famous and everything. Uh, let me share the screen. Can y'all see that? Matthew Cox, American Greed. Go watch the episode. He had, was supposed to go to jail for 20 years, went to jail for 12. Came out, 52 years old, super famous now. Super famous. And he would go to banks and just go watch the story. Me or you couldn't do it. Because because people do what? Extra, extra scrutinize, extra look at us. But he did it. Oh, wait, y'all can't see it. There you go. Can you see it now? Sorry about that. Once a year is not enough, Purple Pros, but I think every every chance you get to look at it, you should. If you have elderly parents, you should help them. If you have children, put their stuff on lock. There's a thing called uh, Home Lock. I have an affiliate for them. They're super cool. There you go. Exactly. Dark side of fintech. Hackers, whole city electrical system demanding $5 million in cash. Yeah. Best way, I'd probably freeze freeze their account information. If it's possible, I'd freeze it. It's insane. Thank you for being a Classy Climb member. If you're in a Classy Climb, you know you guys are getting access to um, the boat party and winery link first. Uh, and then in a couple weeks, everybody else will get access. So, again, August 19th and 1920. August 20th, I've looked at ticket prices up for multiple cities. It's about $300 right now to fly to Texas. Get yourself ready. The algorithms are changing all over the place. Yeah. They are super throttling. Like, y'all, I've, I've talked to people all over. This channel should be 100,000. Easy. Subscribers. Easy. I've gone to people who have 120,000 subscribers. They got less than 500 people watching the video. And YouTube's going to try to convince you that that's normal. Okay. How did they get to 120,000 subscribers if y'all weren't pushing it? You guys, there are several people on this channel who've said that multiple times they've had to subscribe and resubscribe to this channel. So y'all know what's up. So anyway, you guys, I got to get out of here. We got uh, Tim Jackson coming up. Y'all going to want to see that one because I talk about these kids and I talk about Dallas. And the, we it ties into this petty crime we just finished talking about. So, um you guys, I'll see you there. Don't, you know, if you got stuff to do tonight, go do what you got to do. But out of 380 of y'all, you might want to see the uh, the show I have with Tim Jackson tonight. Do you do a class on buying land and building? I don't, but I will recommend somebody here shortly after I partner with them on a project. I'm telling you, Tam, it ain't even no joke out here. You could get unlimited. This is true. I was also going to say, you guys, um, on Just Stop Profits, I don't know if it'll be up Monday or not, but I opened a BlockFi account, opened up a couple different accounts to, to test stuff, uh, and I'm going to show y'all. So, Discover, Make Express, give out free personal, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> are we in a pandemic? I think we are. Inspiring April 20th. So, yeah, I'll probably put some, you know what? That's a good suggestion about is I'll probably put um, one of the the updates inside the digital real estate course. So if you're already in there, you'll you'll have it. There you go. Listen, it happens to real people. My house was stolen 2012. They changed the deed so many times it was impossible to get back. Thanks to talking about this. I'm telling you. <laughs> Michelle, but that's the thing. I promised everybody who was a YouTube member, they got the access first. There's only 40 tickets for the boat. I'm sorry. We have to save space for the cameraman and, and, and my friends who are coming. And then there's going to be uh, 60 tickets. There's 100 people total that'll be at the winery. We're closing down a whole winery. We got a band. We got everything. We got all kind of stuff. Uh, it is. I just have a, uh, there's a lot of posting going on inside there. If you look in there, uh, my apps. If you're inside the YouTube Facebook group, you should see the Facebook group. They've been posting every day this week. Uh, essentially, the YouTube Facebook group is for you to post your content, for us to share it, us to promote each other, and help each other out with advertising. 
There you go. I'm getting an influx in calls on deed property transfer as a mobile notary. I don't accept these assignments from the public unless they're working a title company. Fingerprinting guru. Read what he just said, y'all. Let's say it again. I don't accept these assignments from the public unless I'm working with a title company. If you're a mobile notary, you've seen an explosion of uh, home uh, refinance, cash outs, all that, all that. And that's where that's coming from. So uh, if you guys will <laughs> let you hold five bucks. No, Tam, you let me hold five bucks. When, Tam, are you near Tampa? Let me know. What up, AM1? AM1, come to the next live I'm getting ready to do about them Dallas and them ring cameras and what y'all think. Listen, I'm a t listen. I'm telling you, the boat party, we're going to have 100 people at a winery. I'm buying a bunch of bottles because this might be a, a, a break for I do another boat party. And uh, y'all come on out here. Y'all get your bottles. You get some Texas heat. I got a bus picking you up from the hotel. You know what I mean? I'm going to drop you back off because I ain't responsible for none of you being drunk driving. And we're going to be on that boat and y'all enjoy yourselves because Erica going to be traveling. City's going to Austin, Texas. Austin, Texas. August 19th and 20th. Only people have access to it are YouTube members channels for people first and then the email list second. Sorry about you. It's I promised it. That's how it's got to go. Yeah, when I be down in Tampa, Tam, I'm thinking about doing a little meetup down there. So whoever's in the Florida region, we're going to meet. We're going to meet up. So, yes, there you go. Yeah, do it. It's a good one. All right, you guys. I'll see you on the next live if you're coming over. Listen, y'all better stop. And one instead of coming to learn, coming from you. Listen, I'm telling you, this is going to be a good year. 100 people at a winery. We got the whole place to ourselves. And we got we got matchmaker band going down. Man. Y'all can't. It's going to be a party. So anyway, you guys, this is your girl, Erica Classic on blog. Come check me and Tim out over there. It was over 400 people on this live. Thank you for being here. Make sure you hit the like button on your way out. And I'll put the link for the credit spring cleaning class. Grab it if you want. It's really educational. Next week, it'll be $87. Later.